I had a poll on Instagram asking you all if you wanted Doomfist or Bastion, and Bastion won. If you would have preferred Doomfist but you didn't vote, well, follow me on Instagram and vote! While working on this Bastion video, I realized I don't understand anything Bastion says. Actually, I don't understand anything any robot says. But then, I came up with a brilliant idea. Become a robot. It was simple. In order to understand Bastion and all robots, I had to walk in Bastion's shoes. I walked like a robot. I even lived in the forest like Bastion did. And then, I could finally understand what robots had to say to us. <laughs> During the Omnic Crisis, the Bastion units were the main part of the Omnic army. These bad boys killed Reinhardt's mentor, thousands of soldiers, and even innocents. It's brutal. So Overwatch destroyed all of these units. All but one. The last Bastion. This Bastion broke during the war and was stuck in the Black Forest, just kind of turned off, until the bird Ganymede built a nest on it and woke it up. This particular Bastion admired the beauty of nature, but has robot PTSD. Later, Torbjorn found it and befriended this lonely bot. Torbjorn fixed up Bastion and even gave it new armor. Lego armor? Okay, I'm kidding. He looks like this, but come on. Lego Bastion is the one true Bastion form, and you all know it. It shoots little Lego fire, and when Bastion dies, it sounds super cool. I mean, don't get me wrong, bullets are strong, but have you ever stepped on a Lego? I'd rather be shot. Oh man, all this Lego talk makes me want to play with Legos again. So I decided to buy the Lego Bastion set, and uh, this is not a sponsorship. I'm just a nerd, and I'm gonna build it. Check it out. I finished the Lego Bastion. Now I'm gonna make it transform. And it can be in turret mode. It's crazy. Oh, damn it, their marketing play work! But now that you know who Bastion is, let's learn how to play him, shall we? Bastion is a walking, sort of talking robot whose right arm is a gun. This gun is Hitscan, like Soldier 76 or Baptiste. This is solid for hitting weaker targets at range, and of course, when you think of Hitscans, you can't help but think of dead Pharahs. But as good as this gun is, we all know what you're really here for, the turret mode, aka a shield's worst nightmare. Here is what Bastion does. Bastion can turn into a turret that can't move, but does incredible damage. Shields will break, tanks will be melted, enemies will be deleted from the face of the earth, Okay, it's not that broken. It has a slight windup and can't headshot, but if paired with any good shield protecting Bastion, you know it will be difficult to counter. Bruh, I'm a Reinhardt main, I'm just gonna charge you, bruh. Yeah, good luck with that. Did you know that three out of every four Reinhardts will die trying to 1v1 Bastion? Call this number on the screen to help Reinhardt mains learn. Save a Reinhardt today. On top of this, Bastion can't be booted by Lucio or punched away by Doomfist. Bastion can be slept though, and that will take him out of the turret mode, and then he can be booped. Bastion can also be hooked, and then Sigma's rock can put him in his place. But for the most part, if Bastion is in turret mode, Bastion will stay in turret mode or die trying. Bastion is a big target and can still be headshotted in turret mode. That little blue thing there, that's his head. Luckily, Bastion has a passive called Ironclad that gives Bastion 20% damage resistance, and this will help keep the robot alive. Bastion can also self-heal, so in between firing, reloading, and moving, you should heal yourself up. It makes your healer's job way easier, and honestly, it's a thankless job being a healer. So please, heal yourself. Now, grab some of your best friends and shield up. Just don't block your Bastion's vision. Please. Revolt move. Revolt. <laughs> I can't see no guys, please. Run away. Run away. Oh my god. Please. Bastion's ultimate is tank configuration. Wait, I thought Bastion was in the damage role. Oh great, we had to deal with triple tanks still. Look, I'm not proud of that joke. It had to be said. Okay? 
In this mode, Bastion can move and fire his tank cannons for 8 seconds, and these do 205 damage on a direct hit, with some splash damage. So even if they have a shield, just go past it, and then shoot the enemy. If it's not a direct hit, it won't do as much damage, but it still does damage, so people hiding in corners are not safe. But on a direct hit, amazing things can happen. I'm holding, I'm holding. Oh my god, Bastion! Holy shit! I got a triple one! I got an achievement! You got a triple bro. <laughs> Dude, I feel like every time I play for like a video, I get an achievement. You can even use the tank shots to rocket jump yourself to a higher position. Tank tip? Between firing tank shots, you should heal up since you can't shoot again until it's ready. But overall, the tank mode is pretty straightforward. It's definitely the most fun and satisfying to use. But playing Bastion can piss people off on the enemy team. So if you're playing against a Bastion, here are some ways to counter Bastion. Diva Defense Matrix and Sigma Suck can eat up all the damage for your team and they can go in and attack them. Same with Genji's deflect which can kill Bastion, but good Bastions will just wait out the deflect. Not again, not this time motherfucker. Ultimates like Hanzo's which go through shields will force Bastion to reposition or just die. And Tracer's Pulse Bomb with some extra damage from your team can instantly wipe a Bastion. Oh, the Tracer stuck me. But since people really think that Bastion strategies are like, you know, not a Chad move, the true way to counter it is with a team of Chads. But yeah, good luck finding one of those online. Okay, okay, okay. Chad, okay, Chad, okay. Chad, 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 Chad. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, guys, I actually jinxed the team. I'm sorry, guys. I love it. Guys, yeah. everyone, give it, give it, a, give it an endorsement to Chad. Uh, give a sponsor. Which one? Yeah, to Chad. That Chad, one. dude. Just give it to Chad. It's Chad! Chad Chad. As a fellow Omnic, I know Bastion better than anyone. I've seen what Bastion sees. So you can trust me when I tell you that these tips are worth listening to. Number one, Bastion is really a team effort. So make sure your team is on board with you playing Bastion first. Hey guys, I'm going Bastion, is that cool? Oh wait, your name's Bastion? Oh, do you, do you want Bastion Bastion? Or is it cool if I play Bastion Bastion, is that cool? You don't play Bastion Bastion? Oh. That seems like counterintuitive but okay there's a pirate ship composition on escort maps where you set up on the payload with shields oh, three yo, two yo, one yo ho yo ho pirate life oh my god you guys are so bad <laughs> yo ho yo ho pirate life <laughs> <laughs> or you can bunker up on defense, where you protect your Bastion at all costs. Did somebody say bunker? Bunker <laughs> boys, bunker <laughs> party, <laughs> bunker <laughs> boys, <laughs> bunker <laughs> party. On offense, you can even use bunker. Grab a Symmetra and have her teleport you into the back line, and it's gonna really catch people off guard. Actually, yeah, teleport, go, 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 go. Shield me up, shield me up. If done correctly, you can take the point with ease. Number two, turret mode's reload time takes forever. Not as long as Ash, but long. But whenever you switch to sentry mode and back to turret mode, it reloads it automatically, so you can get in some shots in between. Number three, obviously you want an Orisa shield, but your healers aren't as obvious. I love Anna, Mercy, or Baptiste with Bastion. Anna can nano you to keep you alive or help you get nasty kills with your ultimate. Mercy can pocket you and also resurrect you, and Baptiste can throw invincibility on you and give you the best ultimate for Bastion. Light him up! Uh, point and click adventure! Let's go, die, yes! Point and click adventure! Oh my god, it's so broken! Yeah, that? Yes! Oh my god! Number 4. Zenyatta's ultimate won't protect their team from Bastion's tank form. It's instant damage, so have no fear and go in. Don't believe me? Well, I did it live on Twitch! <coughs> Kill him with Lego! Lego! Ah, oh, I got him! Bastion is pretty straightforward. You're mostly gonna stay in turret mode, and every now and then you're gonna be a tank. It's a pretty simple way to play the game. So for noobs, I think Bastion is really easy to play. The downside with Bastion is that it really is a team effort to use them correctly. Sure, you can be a flanky ninja with Bastion and try to get sneaky kills, but in the end of the day, if you want to set up good compositions around the Bastion play, your team is going to have to work with it. And if Bastion's not working, switch off. It's okay. Sometimes it just doesn't work. But what do you guys think? Do you think Bastion's overpowered, underpowered? Do you think he's easy or hard to play? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I gotta go start the next Omnic Uprising, so uh, I'll catch you later, you noob!